As the nation pauses to celebrate the 159th anniversary of Juneteenth, Muskogee and Harris County residents joined together to breathe life into those personal stories that wrote history. WRBL's Hannah James files this report. June 19, 2024 marks the 159th Jubilee Juneteenth, a time to reflect on the history and traditions of Freedom Day when the Emancipation Proclamation was declared ending slavery. More than 100 attendees joined together to sing songs, retell stories, My name is John Reese. and read the names of those buried at the Pierce Chapel African American Cemetery. And last but not least, Adeline Rayfield, born about 1830, died December 22, 1932. A large part of the week's celebration and Wednesday's retelling of their stories, artistic director of the Springer Opera House, Keith McCoy. It's really a great honor. This is a great opportunity to honor the legacy of our ancestors by retelling their stories. And I truly believe in using my art to unite people. So being able to bring people together for a great cause is always a pleasure. Mona Pierce, president and founder of the Hamilton Hood Foundation, organized Wednesday's commemoration. Her organization's mission is to preserve historical and culturally significant places. One of those locations being the Pierce Chapel African American Cemetery, where three of her great grandparents who were enslaved and emancipated here in Harris County are buried. This is what Juneteenth is. This is what our preservation efforts aim to do, is to bring folks out and bring them together uh, in a very joyous way um, so that they can learn about this local history, this community history. It's important, uh, it inspires us, and as I like to say, it certainly um, can guide our future. The ceremony ended with a wreath laying by the members of the 9th and 10th Cavalry Regiment, Buffalo Soldiers the site adorned with flags signifying unmarked graves. Reporting in Midland, Hannah James, WRBL News 3, on your side. Continuing our Juneteenth coverage across the Fountain City, the Springer Opera House hosted the clothes story at the Springer exhibit. The exhibit highlights replicas of clothing worn by influential black women between 1890 and 1963. It aims to bridge the gap between fashion and history telling stories of trailblazers and leaders who had an impact on their communities. Some of the women highlighted include Columbus native and blues singer Ma Rainey and pioneer in nursing Ludie Clay Andrews from Milledgeville. One woman said seeing a replica of the dress Andrews wore was personal for her. There's one that spoke to me that I had no, uh, and forgive me for the name, no, not, but one of the first, the first African-American nurse to be licensed in Georgia. My mom was a nurse. And so that was very personal to me to see that, that it wasn't until 1920. It was the history with it. It was letting me know that there were people before me that made strides in history. And the reason I'm here today to have the, some of the liberties that I do have. Each dress featured a QR code that visitors could scan, allowing them to hear stories about the women featured. Today was the last day of the exhibit, but the Springer hopes to bring it back next year. Events are set to continue throughout their week, including a historical photo session, Western Ball, and a Jubilee.